Disappointing, hugely disappointing. Um, we just looked at the stats and back. I think we've had 18 goal attempts ourselves, but only six on target. Uh, I think that I think Fulham have had 13, but that's including the the, the set plays. But I think going back, we, we conceded against uh, Wigan at home, and we, we've been very good this season. Not well, defending both boxes, well, defending our own 18-yard box. But it was the manner in which we conceded the goals. Um, one thing you can't do is give Ross McCormack a free shot at goal from from 25 yards. And then it's the second one, the ball in the box. When when we were probably, it was our best spells that they've probably scored against the run of play, but it's how you react to it. And, and then at half-time, I had to chase the game. Cause I just still felt, even felt that 2-0 down, we were going to get something out of the game. But as it showed again from our own set play, we got done on a counter-attack. If you'd have gone ahead, do you think it would have been a very different game? <laughs> Definitely. That's been our problem at the moment, is, is getting that first goal. Um, Taking the pressure off off, off Westy and, and and the back four, suddenly teams have got to open up and push themselves, and we could have maybe picked them off. So, um, but like I say, I was fed up on Saturday because I just saw that ball flashing across the six-yard box. You just need somebody that wants to bust a gut to get in there. Um, I, I've seen it in the Premiership this week, where where again, it's making the right decisions at the right time, and and and. Um, it's the final piece of the jigsaw, really. That's the disappointing thing is that I do know that we're, we're creating chances as 18 shots on, on goal, but only six on target. But we are creating them, but we're, we're, we're not converting them. 